film starts with Mac telling his kids, Dax and Gwen, a story at bedtime. He warns them about the dangers of leaving their pond, making Gwen scared. Their mom scolds him for frightening the kids, but he says it's necessary to keep them safe. The next day, while they are enjoying their time at the pond, more ducks arrive on their migration. Dax makes friends with a duck named Kim. She asks his family to come with them to Jamaica, but Mac rudely declines. The other ducks leave, and Pam confronts him for being rude and for stopping them from trying new things, just because he alone is scared. Later, he finds their uncle Dan who had wandered away. He agrees with Mac that traveling isn't needed. This makes him realize he might end up like uncle Dan if he stays scared. So, he wakes the family and decides they'll go to Jamaica making everyone happy. Gwen manages to convince Uncle Dan to go with them too. The Mallards leave their pond for the first time, but get lost flying in the wrong direction. They find shelter from a storm and meet a heron named Aaron and her husband, Harry. Though they feel nervous, they agree to stay the night with them. When they try to leave quietly, she stops them. They think she might eat them. Suddenly, a big fish jumps and tries to eat the kids. Aaron saves them. The parents are thankful and decide to stay the night. Next morning, they bid farewell and continue their journey. Dax leads them to New York City, where Uncle Dan gets lost in Central Park. He finds a sandwich, but it attracts a group of pigeons. When the others arrive, Mac insults the pigeons, sparking a fight. However, Pam steps in to calm things down. They share their story with the pigeon leader Chump, who offers to help them. She leads them to a restaurant where they meet Delroy, a beautiful parrot from Jamaica. He tells them how a chef snatched him away to keep as a pet. They find out that they can also be served as food to people here. Desperate to escape, they decide to help Delroy. Mac and Pam sneak into the kitchen, causing chaos and angering the head chef. They end up on the dance floor during salsa night and dance their way out of trouble. They get the key to Delroy and they fly away, barely escaping. After saying bye to Chump, the Mallards follow Delroy back to Jamaica. Along the way, Gwen needs to go to the bathroom, but feels too shy to do it while flying. They land and find a duck sanctuary welcomed by a yoga instructor named Gugu. They have fun at the water park. Later, Dax discovers it's really a duck farm owned by the villain chef. He tries to warn everyone, but the chef sees him and attacks his wings. Dax manages to alert the others, and they all escape, including Delroy. At night, the chef finds the ducks with his helicopter and catches everyone except Dax and Gwen. Dax's wings are hurt, so they can't fly. They sadly watch their parents being taken away. He gets an idea involving Delroy's feathers. On the helicopter, Pam feels hopeless, but Mac tells her not to give up. They work together to escape and free Uncle Dan, Delroy, and all the other ducks. The chef catches them again. This time, the other birds fight back causing chaos. Eventually, the chef falls out and Mac and Pam follow him. Kids arrive just in time. Dax uses Delroy's feathers to fly and freeze their parents. They all hug while Uncle Dan and Delroy free themselves and the other ducks. The group travels to Jamaica, attracted by the glowing water, and reaches the island, where Dax meets Kim again. Everyone enjoys a fun dance party. Later, in spring, they find some penguins who need help going back to the South Pole. Ready for another adventure, the Mallards go on a trip to help them.